Hey everyone, let's get started today. All right, we are going to start with drill sound warm up, right? Like we always do, we're gonna do the large cards and then we're going to do the standard cards. So if your teacher wants to pick a drill sound leader for the standard cards, once I am done with the large cards, you can do that now while I'm changing my slides. Okay. Remember, when you see baby echo, you're going to repeat after me. A-N-G, fang, ang. Whoops. Sorry. Everybody say it. A-N-G, fang, ang. A-N, fan, an. A-N, fan, an. A-M, ham, am. A-M, Ham, am. A L L ball all. A L L ball all. U N G ung lung. U N G ung lung. O N G ong song. O N G song ong. I N G ring ing. I N G ring ing. Ing. Great job. Now let's move to the standard cards. Remember, drill sound leader, you're going to say the letter names, the keyword, and the sound, and everybody else, when you see baby echo, you need to repeat the drill sound leader. Okay, drill sound leader, start us out. Everybody else, A-N-G, Fang, Ang. I N G ring ing O N G song ong U N G lung ung A apple a ah. E ed e eh. I itch i eh. O octopus ah. Uh. You up ah. Uh. W H whistle w. L light ooh. I might have made that picture up, friends. <laughs> R rat er. Y, yellow, y. Yeah. Great job. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to do our trick words. So everybody get ready. Remember trick words, we can't tap out. We just have to read them and we want to read them quick. Here we go. Awesome job, guys. Now we're going to do word talk. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to, oh, and that's kind of blurry big. We're going to tap out this word. Remember when we tap our, um, our glued sounds that we learned this week, it's three fingers. Okay. So we're going to tap it. <sighs> ang. Everybody do that with me. <sighs> ang. Hang. And we mark them with a box around the glue sound. 
Let's look at this word. D, uh, k, duck, ducks. Because we always read the base word first and then add the suffix s. Let's read this word. M, I, s. And we marked our bonus letter. Here's this one. Qu, I, k, quick. There's our buddy letters, Q, U, and we underline the digraph. Okay, now we're gonna read words of the day. These can be tapped out, but we don't wanna have to tap them out. We wanna learn them quick. So let's see how quick you can read them. Great. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at these words and we're going to talk about them. And then at the end, we'll talk about how we should mark them all. So who can read the first word for us? Raise your hand so you can read the first word. That's right. The first word is hang. Everybody say hang, hang. Who can use hang in a sentence? Raise your hand and use hang in a sentence. Nice. Has anybody ever, um, I could say, I can hang upside down from the bar. On recess, we used to have these bars and we would all hang upside down from them. Let's look at the next word. Let's tap it out, everyone. W-ing, wing. Everybody flap your chicken wings, ready? <laughs> Chickens have wings, right? And they flap their wings. And when you do the chicken dance, you do your wings, right? But this isn't a suffix S on it. It's just one wing. So maybe the bird has a hurt wing. Let's read this word. And this one does have a suffix S. So I need someone to read the base and then the whole word. Raise your hand if you can read the base and then the whole word. That's right, ship, ships. Here's another one with a suffix S. Who can read this word? Read the base word and then the whole word. That's right, job, jobs. Here's one of our glued sounds. Ready? Who can read this word for us? That's right, call. Like I made a phone call. Or sometimes if you have siblings, your mom might say, go call your brother or go call your sister because they're somewhere else and she needs them. Let's look at this word. This has a glued sound. This word is er, and. This one's only a two finger tap, right? Er, and, ran. Who can read this word for us? That's right, it's the word fix. Fix. In our last word with our buddy letter, who can read this word? That's right, quit. Awesome job. Now I'm going to ask some questions and I want you guys to give me the answers. What, um, hmm. which of these two words means something that is plural, more than one, more than one. Raise your hand and tell us. That's right, ships and jobs, absolutely. Which one of our words up there means something that's just one? We talked about it just being one. That's right, the word wing, right? It's not talking about both wings, it's just talking about one wing. Like, it could also be a wing of an airplane, right? Which one of these would you need to do if something is broken? If something is broken, so the opposite of broken is to do what? So the antonym or opposite of broken is to do what? 
That's right, fix. And then the opposite of start, if I'm not starting something, what's the opposite of start? An antonym for start. That's right, quit. Awesome job. Now let's look at how we mark these. Dude. We would box all of our glued sounds. Remember our glued sounds are right here and they're all in green. Hang, wing, call, ran. We have two base words that we had to underline and circling our suffixes. Ship, ships, jobs, job, jobs. This, this glued sound also has a bonus letter. So we have to remember our bonus letter. And this word, our base word had um, a digraph, so we underline that as well. You guys need to make sure that you're practicing your marking. Let's go to echo, find letters and words. If you have your boards, get them out. If not, you're gonna point to these and when we get to words, you'll need paper. So if you don't have your board, you will need paper. And the first sound I want you to find is Ang. Everybody say, oops, everybody say ang. Now point to ang, and I need someone to tell me what letters say ang. That's right, A N G. How about ong? Everybody say ong. Point to it and say the letter names. That's right, O N G. How about ong? Everybody say ung say the letter names and point to it that's right ung let's do ing everybody say ing point to or say the letter names and point to it that's right ing now we're going to spell some words i want you to spell the word fang everybody tap it out first Ang, fang. If you're writing it, I want you to also mark it. But if you're just building it, you can't mark it on your board. Let's see how we do fang. Give your teacher a thumbs up when you're ready. Let's check it. Fang is F-A-N-G with a box around my glued sound. Let's do the word wing. Let's tap it. W-ing. Write it or build it, and then mark it if you're writing it and give your teacher a thumbs up. Let's check it. Wing is W-I-N-G. Hopefully you boxed your glued sound. The next word is long. Everybody say long. Let's tap it. L-ong. Say the letter names. Either write it or build it. Mark it if you're writing it and give us a thumbs up. That's right, long is L-O-N-G, long. The next word is sung. Everybody say sung. Sung needs to be marked if you're writing it as well. Let's see, S-U-N-G, good job. Let's mark, remember to mark our glued sounds. Now we're gonna do some review words. The first word is the word webs. Since there's a suffix s on it, we need to tap just the base first. Let's tap it out. W -e -b. Say the letter names, write the word, mark it if you're writing on paper. When you're done, give your teacher a thumbs up. Let's check it. Webs is W-E-B-S. Hopefully you underlined your base word web and you remembered your suffix s and you underlined it. The next word, the next word is the word thick. Ick. Say the letter names, write it or build it. If you're writing it, don't forget to mark it and give your teachers a thumbs up when you're ready. Let's check to see how you spelled thick. Thick is spelled T-H-I-C-K. Hopefully you remembered to underline your digraphs. Last word is the word bills. I hear a suffix S on that word. Make sure you write your base word first. Let's tap it out. 
B, I, U. Say the letter names, write it. Don't forget to add your suffix S. If you're writing it, mark it. If you're just building it, you're good. Give a teacher a thumbs up when you're done. Let's check Bills. Bills is B-I-L-L-S. Hopefully you underlined your suffix or underlined your base word and you remembered your bonus letter star and you circled your X, S. Great job today, guys.